एवरीवन इन दिस सेशन वील बी लर्निंग अबाउट दी नाउ सप्लाई ऑफ दी आई सो द नाउ सप्लाई ऑफ आई कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट द सेंसरी नाउ सप्लाई द मोटर नाउ सप्लाई एंड द ऑटोनोमिक नाउ सप्लाई ऑटोनोमिक फर्दर कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू द पैरासिपेथेटिक एंड द सिंपेथेटिक नाउ सप्लाई पैरासिपेथेटिक नाउ फाइबर्स अराइजेस फ्रॉम टू न्यूक्लियस द एडिंगर वेस्टफॉल न्यूक्लियस एंड द सलाइवेटरी और द लेक्राइमेटरी न्यूक्लियस Nucleus simply means collection of now cell bodies in the CNS. We'll be talking ahead about ganglion which means collection of now cell bodies outside the CNS that is in the peripheral nervous system. So moving on further we'll discuss about the sensory nerve supply of the eye. So the main nerve of the sensory supply is the ophthalmic nerve. The ophthalmic nerve is the branch of the trigeminal nerve. It is the branch of the trigeminal which is your fifth cranial nerve, trigeminal nerve. It has three branches, trigeminal nerve, the ophthalmic, the maxillary and the mandibular nerve of which the ophthalmic nerve is the smallest. Furthermore, the ophthalmic nerve gives three branches, the lacrimal, the frontal and the nasociliary. The lacrimal is the most lateral. This order is from lateral to medial. So the most lateral branch of ophthalmic nerve is your lacrimal nerve, which will of course supply the lateral part of eye. May it be the lateral part of the eyelid or the lateral part of the eyeball. Then moving on further, after the lacrimal nerve comes your frontal nerve. Frontal nerve supplies conjunctiva, middle part of eyelid. The lateral part is supplied by the lacrimal nerve. and the frontal nerve will supply the middle part of eyelid the skin of forehead and scalp the skin of forehead and the scalp the frontal nerve further is divided into the supra orbital and the supra trochlear nerves so these are the two branches then the third branch of the ophthalmic nerve is your nasociliary nerve which is the lateral most branch and it is further divided into many branches of which the important one is your long ciliary nerve these are actually two nerves long ciliary nerves will travel on each side of the optic nerve so long ciliary nerve travels along the uh, travels along each side of optic nerve and it will supply your ciliary body parts of iris and cornea similarly we have other branches known as communicating branches to the ciliary ganglion so what happens is few branches of naso ciliary nerve For instance this is your nasociliary nerve few naso nasociliary nerve this one then it will give this one is your communicating branch communicating branch will go to the ciliary ganglion and ciliary ganglion further gives rise to around 10 short ciliary nerves so the nasociliary nerve it will give communicating branches to the ciliary ganglion which will further give around 10 short ciliary nerves the short ciliary nerves also they will supply your ciliary body the iris and the cornea then other branches of the nasociliary nerves are your posterior ethmoid nerve the anterior ethmoid nerve and the infratrochlear nerve posterior ethmoid nerve as you can guess supplies the ethmoid and the sphenoid sinus sinuses are air filled cavities that will be supplied by the posterior ethmoid nerve then comes your anterior ethmoid nerve it is a terminal branch of nasociliary nerve then the most medial one is your infratrochlear nerve as you can guess firstly it will be supplying your medial part of eyelid also it will supply the conjunctiva the lacrimal sac yeah the lacrimal nerve which was here on the lateral most side it will also supply the lacrimal gland lacrimal gland which is located on the lacra uh, on the lateral side and here the infratrochlear nerve it will supply the lacrimal sac which is located on the medial side of the eye and it is also the terminal branch of nasociliary nerve so the two terminal branches are anterior ethmoid and your infratrochlear nerve so this was about the sensory supply of the eye now